What's up my friends, welcome back. This is the first video of the radio control 3D printed Spitfire plane. In this part we will see how to create the radio controller. Because it's the same principle as in the badass tank tutorial, watch that video as well for more details. The link is in the description. Anyway, I'll do a quick resume of the radio controller construction. First of all, I've bought this old and damaged radio controller from a second hand store. I don't care that it doesn't work because all I need from it is the case, the back battery holder and the joysticks. When we open the case, we see a big PCB with a lot of circuits. We don't need those circuits. All we need are these four potentiometers. To prepare the PCB, we cut using a cutter all the tracks from the potentiometers to be sure that there won't be any short circuits. Now we are ready to solder our circuit. This is the basic schematic that we are going to mount. This on-off button is the button that the controller already has. The controller has 6 batteries of 1.5 volts with a total of 9 volts. We connect the positive 9 volts to our on-off switch and the ground to the ground of the Arduino. Next, connect the switch to the external voltage input of the Arduino Nano and the 3.3 voltage regulator. Make all the connection of the radio module as shown in this schematic. Connect the 3.3 volts to the input of the radio module. Next, solder ground to all of the four potentiometers. Add 5 volts to and solder the output of the potentiometers to the analog input 0, 1, 2 and 3 of the Arduino. I've made a small hole in the controller case so I could program the Arduino without opening the case. The circuit is done. I've also added two switches and an extra potentiometer to mine to make this control to have seven channels. I've also soldered a red LED with a 1K resistance to the switch. In this way, when I turn on the controller, the red light lights on. I've used this power amplified radio module. It's a little bit more expensive, but the transmitter needs a lot of power if you want a reasonable working range. For the receiver, you could use a normal NRF24 module, but for the transmitter, I recommend you to use an antenna one. There is also a big variety of antennas that you could try. Ok, so I close the case and the radio controller is ready. All you need is to upload the same code as in the badass tank tutorial. The code is in the link below and more information on my webpage and the badass tank videos. Watch that video if you want to see the entire code explained. Open it in the Arduino IDE and upload it to the microcontroller. The radio controller is ready to send data. It will send the throttle, yaw, pitch and roll values from the four potentiometers with a value between 0 and 255. To test the connection, connect another Arduino to an NRF module and upload the receiver test code that you will find in the link below. Switch on your radio controller. Connect the second Arduino to a PC and open the serial monitor. It should print the four received values. Thanks again guys and see you in the next video where we will see how to print and build a 3D Spitfire body.